Welcome to Cocktail Corner. I'm the Gnome, and this is Gnome's Tavern. And we're going to do a very special drink for you today, because this Warhammer Total War 3 is coming out. We're going to celebrate that with some cocktails. Now, I teamed up with two of, one of, two of my favorite cocktail people, Angry Cocktails and Whiskey Nerd, and we each got a Chaos God, and we had to make a cocktail with that Chaos God. So my Chaos God is Slanesh. Now, a little history, uh, Warhammer is a miniature game, one of the best-selling miniature games from Games Workshop, and it has a nice, beautiful lore that's really, really fun. The models are great, and the game is also kind of fun sometimes, uh, depending on how your dice rolls go, essentially. So, in this world, there's four Chaos Gods. I know there's like a fit, you could join the fifth one that's like you're not part of them, but we're not going to talk about that one. We're going to talk about the four Chaos Gods. That is Korn, the God of Violence, Blood for the Blood Gods. We also have Nurgle, the God of Disease that, that infects his children. We have Zinch, that is the trickery one that just is kind of going through time and likes to mess with people. And then we have the god I'm doing it, the god of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, Slanesh. And Slanesh is a very interesting god because uh, GW really, I think, has sometimes trouble deciding what to do with Slanesh on a miniature scale. But also in the lore, you have like the Age of Sigmar, she eats a bunch of the elves, and she's like going underneath the water and she's like running away from the from the fish elf people, because she ate all their souls. And then you have also, um, in the 40k one, which makes me laugh, is the Eldar essentially make this perfect paradise. And in this perfect paradise, they keep having uh, orgies and stuff so much that it summons the god Slanesh and eats like 98% of them. And so a majority, uh, so a portion of the Eldar population is just essentially space traveling through the warp trying to avoid Slanesh, because if they stop, Slanesh will show up and try to eat them. So she's got a kind of a really weird, uh, fun lore. And I'm really excited to do this one. So let's start it off. And a huge shout out to John, who's a big Slanesh fan. He brought me on to this uh, Empress Gin 1908, and it does a really cool trick that we're gonna show off today. So we're gonna do an ounce, uh, uh, two ounces of Empress Gin. And it, first of all, it's going to come off as super purple, which I know a lot of people paint their armies with that purple and uh, purple and pink. So now we're going to try to get that pink. So we're going to do three fourths of an ounce of lemon. And when you add citrus to this gin, it actually changes colors on you. There we go. I got like the industrial radiation lemons. So three fourths of an ounce of lemon. And as you can see, it starts to turn pink which is really, really a cool trick. That's how we're doing in this glass. We're now gonna do three fourths of an ounce of that rosemary simple I made. This is gonna add a nice aroma to the drink and add a little bit of earthiness. Uh, I really am enjoying this simple syrup and you can see it also in my absinthe old fashion, what you can do with this rosemary simple. So three fourths of an ounce of that. Now an ounce of passion fruit, cause you gotta have passion um, you gotta have passion with excess. And we're gonna do an ounce of passion fruit juice. Bam! And now three dash dashes of Peixo's bitters. It's just kind of round it all out. So one, two, three. Yeah, so essentially like, it's really cool being a Slanesh follower in the beginning, but as you start to go, you start to lose and you have to essentially keep doing more of Slanesh's biddings as you keep rekindling that passion. So we're gonna throw that into here, into our shaker, and we are going to start the shake. We're gonna do the shake down. So get a couple of pieces of ice, and let's shake her up. Yeah, you see a lot of like uh, Slanesh followers have like crab hands. <laughs> Little Dr. Zoidberg's right there. <laughs> and we're gonna show this one, uh, we're gonna serve this one straight up in a coupe glass, or you can use a martini glass, whichever one suits you. Um, and let's pour her out. Oh, it's such a pretty color. I love the color of this drink. 
so gorgeous. And then our little garnish. Now I was gonna garnish it with a crab hand, but I couldn't find one. So we, we're gonna go a little classy. We're gonna lie to our followers and be like, being a follower of Slanesh is all the rage. So we're gonna take a little rosemary and a maraschino cherry. I like to just uh, stick them in there, bam. And then we'll take where that's on the other side of the stem and we'll clip it on with a clip. And there is, oh, you know, we'll clip it on back here. Yeah, okay, the garnish is not working today. Boop. And we'll clip it on like so. And there is the slanesh. Oh, immediately when I smell it, I just smell like, it's almost like springtime with the rosemary and the gin just come right through, but you do get a nice little like, that fruitness of the passion fruit. Oh. This is probably one of my favorite drinks I've designed, just flavor-wise. You get the fruitiness of the passion with the rosemary and the flower. It's really, really great. Just a nice, nice drink. And I really, really enjoy it. In fact, I enjoyed it a lot. I actually have fallen into Slanesh's traps and have drank excess, <laughs> excess of these because I really do love this drink. Uh, so guys, thank y'all so much. Make sure you go check out my other friends, Angry Cocktail, uh, whiskey whiskey nerd their links are down below to check out their cocktail videos and subscribe to their channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and don't forget to always tip a loyal follower follower of slanesh because only you can join slanesh <laughs> cheers everybody